My name is Brandon Barron with Carrie Paul Honda and today I'm going to be talking about the 2010 Insight that just came out and I'm going to be going over some of the features and benefits of the actual vehicle, also some points that interest myself and what I like about the vehicle itself. These days with fuel prices going up, people are talking about hybrid, 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 but a large amount of people don't know exactly how it works and what it does. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about kind of the technology that's going into hybrids. Um, what you have, the reason it gets such good fuel economy is because you're running off a gasoline engine, which is right here, and also an electric motor, which is located on the side. And so when you're actually braking, the, there's kinetic en energy that's built up, and that energy is stored in the battery pack. Now, the battery pack is actually located in the back seat, and it's a slim, thin battery pack. So that's where the energy is stored while braking. Now when you start to accelerate, that energy is sent to the electronic motor and then the electronic motor kicks in and assists the gasoline engine. And that's why you get such good fuel economy is because you're not running on just a gasoline engine, you're also running on an electric motor, which hence the name integrated motor assist. The motor is assisting the gasoline engine. Uh, another feature that helps you get very, very good fuel economy in a hybrid also is an auto stop function. And what that means is when you stop at, for example, a stoplight, the car actually cuts off the gasoline engine to where you're not using any fuel economy at that point. So both of those put together is one of the reasons you get such good fuel economy, but also it helps with emissions and it's better for the environment. Now, a couple features on the inside that I personally like is the, well, one, of course, the auxiliary jack. Clients these days all have iPods and things like that. So this connection, uh, all you do is you get a connection from your iPod and you put it into the auxiliary port and you can play your iPod through the speakers throughout the vehicle, which is very nice. Gives you a big selection of music. Uh, it's nice on trips or just daily driving. Uh, another thing is also is the two-tiered console. And you'll notice it is a little bit different from what you're seeing in a conventional vehicle. The reason you have the miles per hour up on top is because when you're driving along, instead of directing your attention away from the road and having to look down, this is actually almost on eye level. So it's very, very safe. You'll be able to keep your eyes on the road and it's a little, just a little bit more convenient as far as keeping track of your speed. Um, on the inside also, you'll get a sense of being very very safe because you are literally surrounded by airbags you have airbags on the driver's side the passenger side you also have side curtain airbags that come down to protect the your head area in a in a side impact uh, or a rollover also you have airbags that deploy out of the sides of the seat so I mean you're you're literally surrounded by airbags and it creates kind of a comfort zone inside the car which is nice other thing is is that this has what's called paddle shifters so your conventional transmission is has gears okay this is a continuously variable transmission what that means is there's no shift shock so there's no transition from gear to gear and that makes a kind of a not a rough drive but it creates shock between the gears uh, this is actually seamless and you can actually control, and they're not gears, they're called more uh, points. And you can control the points by using your paddle shifters and going from your one to two to three to four, and then down also. So you can control kind of how the car's picking up, accelerating or decelerating, which is nice because it helps you be in control of the vehicle and you can control your acceleration or your acceleration and deceleration now a topic that I like to discuss and it's one of the reasons I work for Honda it's one of the reasons I drive a Honda it's one of the reasons that my family all drives Hondas is the low cost of ownership and what I mean by that is one it's a hundred thousand miles to your first tune-up most vehicles depending on the make and model you have to get a tune-up around 40 to 60 thousand miles that's not cheap 
Other thing is, is your oil change or intervals between oil changes is going to be around every five to seven thousand miles. Generally, you have to get a tune-up depending on the make and model, or sorry, not a tune-up, an oil change depending on the make and model around three thousand miles. So that's going to save you some money also. The other thing is, is that this has a timing chain instead of a timing belt. Timing belts usually break or need to be replaced around forty to sixty thousand miles. This is really made to last 120,000 miles at least, but it's really made to last the life of the car. So the maintenance costs that you spend are very, very low over the period of time you have the car. So that, along with the very good fuel economy that you'll get, is very, very good. And also, this is, or the Insight, compared to, for example, a Toyota Prius, has a very, very good price point. It's a lower overall price uh, also, you have the low cost of ownership. That, along with the safety, the dependability, and the good resale value, makes this product very, very good and attractive and competitive in the marketplace and a good vehicle for you. And I'm Brandon at Carry Paul Honda. If you have any questions at all or want to test drive, feel free to come visit me. We are, Carry Paul is located on 78, around six miles east of Stone Mountain. If you need any more information about the vehicle, you can go to our website or contact me through the website at carrypaulhonda.com or visit our YouTube channel. And next time I'm going to be talking about another model that Honda offers and give you some information on that too.